Unit 8. Renewable Energy. We need energy sources for our cars, trains, planes, machines, appliances, and many other energy-consuming vehicles and devices. We rely mainly on fossil fuels such as coal, oil and gas, and we are consuming the world's fossil fuels at an alarming rate. As a result, the amount of carbon dioxide CO2, in the atmosphere is increasing dramatically. Burning fossil fuels for decades has been destructive to the natural environment. Much of the destruction of our environment would not have taken place if these fossil fuels had not been used. In recent years, a great deal of attention has been paid to the dangers of consuming fossil fuels. In addition, the Earth is running out of fossil fuels, which means that there is a need for alternative sources of energy for use on a wide scale. Therefore, it is essential for us to use renewable energy instead of fossil fuels. Now, the use of renewable energy is becoming more and more common worldwide. Renewable energy and its benefits. Renewable energy refers to energy that is produced using the sun, wind, water, etc. rather than using fuels such as oil, gas and coal. The sun, wind, water, waste, and heat are all rich sources of renewable energy. These energy sources can never run out or are inexhaustible and so they are known as renewable energy sources. Specifically, energy from the sun is considered an inexhaustible resource. As long as the sun exists, it gives us energy. Moreover, renewable energy sources can be recovered or produced without causing CO2 emissions, air pollution and global warming. Renewable energy production is certainly essential if we are to prevent further environmental problems. There are many examples of renewable energy sources such as hydropower, wind power, solar energy, biomass energy and geothermal energy. Hydropower Hydropower utilizes the power of moving water such as waterfalls and rivers and the sea. Electricity is generated when moving water turns turbines. As long as flowing water continues, it gives us an inexhaustible amount of energy. Hydropower dams are also a source of renewable energy. Power is generated when water from the dam is released through turbines. Although hydropower plants hardly emit any pollutants into the air, there are a few drawbacks. Water-powered turbines can have a negative effect on aquatic wildlife. Also, building hydropower dams causes land behind the dams to flood. One more drawback is that the costs of installing hydropower systems are high. Wind power. To create wind power, large turbines are placed on top of hills or offshore. Energy is generated when the wind turns wind turbines. Modern windmills or wind turbines can be utilized on a large scale or a small scale. Unlike hydropower, this process is relatively cheap and is considered one of the most affordable forms of energy today. In addition, it does not have harmful effects on the air or land it uses. One disadvantage is that if the wind stops blowing, all wind turbines stop working. Like hydropower, wind turbines can also be a threat to wildlife such as birds and bats in areas. Solar energy. Electricity is generated when sunlight hits the photovoltaic cells on specially designed panels. The efficiency of the solar panels depends on their location. The sunnier the place, the more efficient they are. Solar energy is popular in remote areas where there is no access to an electricity grid but it is also used as a green alternative to power homes and buildings that are connected to the grid. This process of converting sunlight into electricity brings many benefits to our environment. It helps control air pollution, it causes no noise, and sunlight is a renewable source that will not get used up. However, a large area of land is needed to produce a large amount of solar power. In some countries, Citizens turn to solar energy on their own, and governments encourage them to adopt solar power systems. Biomass energy. Biomass is a biologically produced fuel made from dead plant and animal materials. 
It is considered to be the oldest source of renewable energy. Biomass energy has been used since humans first started burning wood for fire. The burning of biomass can be used to produce steam, which turns turbines and generates electricity. Biomass can regrow over a relatively short period of time, whereas it takes hundreds of millions of years to form fossil fuels. By using biomass, which is made up of rubbish and other organic waste, we can reduce the need to bury rubbish under the ground in a landfill. However, some people are worried that burning biomass causes global warming because it produces greenhouse gases. In addition, it can be expensive to use biomass to generate energy on a large scale. Geothermal energy Geothermal energy uses the heat within the earth to produce electricity and heat buildings. In other words, heat that is trapped in the ground can be converted into steam to turn turbines. Geothermal energy uses relatively simple technology, and this process causes no pollution. The most active geothermal resources are usually found in areas near volcanoes. The initial costs of setting up a geothermal power plant are very high, but once it is built, the running costs are low. To conclude, using fossil fuels at a very rapid rate has serious harmful effects on the natural environment. Burning fossil fuels for heating, lighting, transportation, electricity, or manufacturing emits CO2 in the atmosphere. Nearly all climatologists agree that many environmental problems we are facing today are mainly caused by the consumption of huge amounts of fossil fuels. The biggest challenge we all are facing is to stop burning fossil fuels and start using renewable energy. Governments should take steps to get enough energy from renewable fuels to be able to stop using fossil fuels completely. Before it is too late, it is important to reduce our negative impact on the natural environment as much as possible by using renewable energy instead of fossil fuels.